Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Up back into the video day and today we're going to be recapping today's games, today's games from the NBA uh, from April 1st, a happy April Fool's Day, uh, Monday, and there were only six games today, which is, I'm not going to say unusual, but often you see a little bit more games on a, on a Monday slate. So let's recap those games. We saw some good performances. Now, a couple of blowouts, but there were a fair share of close games um actually not really to be honest, now that I look at it really only two close games out of out of the six games today but some nice performances in the blowouts so let's start off with the Atlanta Hawks and the Chicago Bulls a really nice game um as the Hawks keep it rolling they've won five out of the last six their only loss in the last six games uh, goes to the Milwaukee Bucks. They beat the Celtics twice. They're playing really good basketball right now. DeJounte Murray is playing great basketball, although he only had 17 points and not shooting 7 for 17, but he did have 8 rebounds and 6 assists. 113 to win a win against the Chicago Bulls. 20 points for Bogdanovich as well. He led them in scoring. Capella had a double-double, having 15 and 11. Uh, so 11 points for Jalen Johnson off the bench. He returned to the lineup tonight, but was not starting. A little unusual, in my opinion. Um, but it's his first game back. For the Bulls, DeRozan had 31 points. Kobe White had 22 and 15 points for A.O. DeSuma. All right, moving on to the Suns and the Pelicans. Devin Booker breaks history. First player ever to have three straight performances against one team with 50 or more points. Or sorry, sorry, first player to do it since Wilt Chamberlain. So he's the first player outside of Wilt Chamberlain to do that. Uh, Will Chamberlain was the first player to do that, and Devin Booker is the second. Uh, D-Book had 52 points. Alongside 52 points, really impressive With while you're dropping 52 points in 28 shots. He also throws down 9 assists, shot 8 for 16 from 3, had 3 rebounds. Yusuf Nurkic had a double-double. Oh, he was so close to a 2020 game. He had 19 points and 19 rebounds. Grayson Allen had 11. Durant had 20 and 7. Bradley Beal had 13 points, 9 rebounds, and 6 assists. Uh, there were no players. I mean, I think this would not surprise anybody. There were no players off the bench with double figures. In fact, not even not even double figures for the whole bench itself. Um, the Suns bench combined for a total of 9 points. All right. Uh, Pelicans. They got 30 points from Zion Williamson. Man, he's playing well. He's been playing well recently. Trey Murphy had 21 points. If that Brandon Ingram, 11 points for Jonas Valanciunas, 15 for CJ McCollum. All right, moving on to the Nets and the Pacers. The Pacers blow out the Nets. Uh, for the Pacers, 27 points and 13 assists for Tyrese Halliburton, 15 for Pascal Siakam, 11 for Aaron Neesmith. Uh, Miles Turner did leave this game with an injury. He finished with 9 points and 6 rebounds, left he left in. He left this game only playing 14 minutes and 12 seconds in the game. 14 points for Obi Top and 17 and 10 for Jalen Smith, who who got an opportunity night with Turner being injured, and McConnell McConnell had 10 as well for the Nets. Uh, can can did Cam Thomas keep it rolling tonight? Uh, yes, he did. He he could you know he is not not as well as he's been playing recently, but still a good game. 22 points, seven for 16. Also, 19 points for Bridges, 7 and 11 for Nick Claxton. And for the Nets, they also had 21 points off the bench for Trendon Watford and 14 points from Lonnie Walker. So that's one of the blowouts I was talking about. I was also talking about the Suns and the Pelicans and the Hawks and the Bulls. The final blowout of the day was the Celtics and the Hornets. I mean, honestly, I, I wouldn't call it a blowout because, um, you know, I, I would say, you know, I thought the Hornets stayed pretty close with the Celtics, uh, in my opinion. Now, I will say no Jalen Brown tonight for Boston. Also, not a healthy Chris Porzingis as he was questionable for this game. But that didn't stop him from getting 20 points and 7 rebounds. Tatum had 25, 10, and 4. And Derek White had 19 points, 9 rebounds, and 5 assists. Those three played really well. Al Horford got the start with Jalen Brown being out. He had 15 points. Sam Hauser played extremely well with 25 points off the bench, hitting 7. 7-3, 7 for 11. For the Hornets, what did they do? 26 points and 11 rebounds and 8 assists, 2 assists away from a triple-double for Miles Bridges. 23 points from Grant Williams, former Boston Celtics. He had to show the Boston Celtics' his former team what he had in store for them, 7 rebounds. I think what he, what he was really trying to do is, hey, can you have me back? I, I would love to come back. 
Um, I don't think he ever wanted to leave Boston, to be honest. Um, but he did get a really good offer from the you know from the Dallas Mavericks because you know I think they threw him some money. I don't think anybody would have thrown him. Nineteen points for rookie Brandon Miller, um, and then that was really it. So yeah, and then getting to the two close games of the day. Uh, and this outside of Devin Booker, this was the best performance of the day. The Grizzlies beat the Detroit Pistons in a one ten to one oh eight game. Cade Cunningham scores 36 points, but it is overlooked from Jaron Jackson Jr.'s 40-point performance, 13 for 23 with seven rebounds. He shot 12 for 14 at the free throw line and two for three from three, 11 points from G.G. Jackson. So outside of Denbrook, he had 52, but then you have Jaron Jackson Jr. scoring 40 points. Brandon Clark had 15 as well off the bench, and... Um, Luke Kennard had 19 points off the bat, or starting with eight assists. So, yeah. Um, and then the last game is the Magic and the Blazers. The Blazers actually kept it close to the Magic. The Magic won 104 to 103. Oh, Orlando. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, Orlando Magic beat the Portland Trail Blazers 104 to 103. 20 points for Franz Wagner, 17, 13, and 5 for Wendell Carter Jr. 15 for Jalen Suggs, 15, 4, and 4 for Paulo Bancaro. He's been struggling recently. Um, and Gary Harris, the other starter, had 14 points in this one, shot two for six from three. I took I took him to hit one and over one and a half threes uh, today uh, on chalkboard. So happy that you know that hit for me. 20 and 12 for DeAndre Aiden. I paired Gary Harris's threes made with DeAndre Aiden, Aiden rebounds, which line was 10 and a half. So cha ching. Um, don't often talk about betting on here. Drew DeAndre Aiden had 20 and 12, and Jabari Walker had 18, 9, and 5. Uh, Scoot Henderson had 13 points and 8 rebounds with 9 assists. 11 for Ryan Rupert as well, the rookie. A lot of rookies on this Hornets team. They, I mean, sorry, Hornets, Blazers. They got Scoot Henderson, they got Ryan Rupert, they got Chris Chris Murray. They got three rookies starting, and then they got another guy in do a brief coming off the bench. So this is a rookie-filled team. Uh, so... Yeah, let me know your thoughts on the game in the comment section, or today's game is in the comment section, and peace out.